Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at Lush's latest bath bomb. It's a fundraising bath bomb and it's called TBH365 and that stands for Teach Black History 365 Days a Year and not just during Black History Month. 100% of the proceeds from this bath bomb minus VAT will be donated to the Black Curriculum and they are a social enterprise dedicated to getting British Black History into the curriculum and teaching about British Black History as well. I went to one of my local Lushes earlier to get this bath bomb and I was really impressed with the display window. Not only have they launched this bath bomb but they are also taking up like their shop window space. It's their space in each door which allows them to communicate to the footfall to communicate to potential customers and they're using that space, their window space, to kind of highlight the gaps in our education. It does a really good job of asking were you ever taught about the 1919 race riots, about the British Black Panthers, about the Bristol bus boycott, about Black Tudors and about the Mangrove Nine. I was looking at it and I was like no, 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 no. I wasn't taught about any of it in school and anything I do know about these parts of history I've learned since the kind of like peak of the Black Lives Matter protests last year around like June 2021 I read why I'm no longer talking to white people about race and I've listened to a few podcasts since then as well so I've learned about like the Bristol bus boycott and other parts of black history in the UK but some of these things like black Tudors I'm like I've no idea <laughs> what we're talking about here. So clearly there's still a lot of gaps in my knowledge of British history which need to be addressed. But yeah, the responsibility should be on the curriculum of not erasing black history and not having such a Eurocentric approach. Yeah, I do wanna just take some time to talk about what my education was like. I don't remember being taught about any of these at school at all. There are literally a couple of things I remember learning at school which were about racism, but zero things about black British history. I remember in year five or year six learning about Harriet Tubman. I think we had one lesson, maybe it was double lesson but I remember just learning about her, her life and her impact and I don't believe that was part of the curriculum. Although that was black history it was US based history so not black British history and then I remember in year seven or year eight reading Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. That is an incredible book series, I really do recommend it. Mallory Blackman is an incredible black British female author and Noughts and Crosses is like this fictional series which looks at what an alternative 21st century Britain would have been if it were native African people that colonized the Europeans. I remember this completely changing how I understood racism as a child and I am so grateful that my teacher chose for us to read that and I again don't believe that was part of the curriculum I think that was just her own choice I would love to see that as part of the curriculum especially if it could be studied at GCSEs I just remember it challenged so much in me and made me think about racism when I otherwise just didn't think about it at all and whilst I read that in year seven I remember recommending it to pretty much everyone I knew and my mum read it and my aunt read it they both really loved the series as well they were so hooked they just thought it was brilliant as well so don't worry you haven't missed the boat if you didn't read it as a child it's something I know I'd still enjoy today and I'd still recommend to adults it was just an incredible series and whilst that was incredible and I think we do need to have a lot more like black authors in the curriculum that is not black British history I wasn't taught to the best of my memory or knowledge any black British history and considering I remember like this book and that like one lesson quite vividly I th think it's because there were so few times we spoke about racism or acknowledged its existence at school that's why I remember these things from so long ago so I'm very confident when I say I didn't learn any black British history I would love to know if everyone else's experiences are the same or very similar to mine like please do let me know if you remember learning any Anything about racism or black British history whilst you're at school or any black history at all I'd be really interested to see what everyone else's experiences and memories of this were I think we can just all agree this is a huge gap in our education system and again I'm very certain though I could be wrong but I'm pretty certain that the little bits that I did learn were not part of the curriculum that was the teacher's own initiative to make us read knots and crosses or to do a lesson on Harriet Tubman and I'm like whilst it wasn't enough I am grateful for those teachers to recognize that gap in the education and try and fill it just that little bit particularly reading noughts and crosses i think that was just huge benefit to not just me but every girl in the year who read that i think it was such an important read and i'm very grateful to have read that at such a young age grateful 
the little bits I did have, but God, they weren't enough. So I would love to talk to you guys a little bit more about the Black Curriculum, who Lush have teamed up with for this bar form, which by the way smells incredible. So the Black Curriculum was born out of a desire to have Black British history taught throughout schools. They rightfully so are not happy about how Eurocentric our history lessons are and how we omit Black British history from our history lessons. Black British histories are currently not part of the national curriculum, nor is Black British history taught in schools in a compulsory or consistent manner. And knowing that and pairing it with the fact that we've seen a rise in xenophobia and racist attacks in the UK in the whole like political climate of Brexit, the home office figures for our 2017-2018 show that there were over 94,000 hate crimes and 76% of those were racially aggravated. We have an issue of systemic racism in the UK and one thing that would do so much good in tackling that would be to address the gaps in the curriculum. If we had black history taught in an authentic and accessible way as the black curriculum is trying to encourage, it would do so much good for tolerance and creating positive change across the UK. We are just such a multicultural country and it would just be such a benefit to learn so much more about all the different cultures, all the different histories and everyone's heritage and part to play in British history as well in the UK. Just, just, it's so frustrating to have such huge harrowing gaps in the curriculum. This is why the Black Curriculum are campaigning to get Black British histories taught in schools because they know just how much it will benefit the whole country. As part of their goals to achieve this, the Black Curriculum offers a number of services including teacher training, curriculum consultations, and also corporate workshops. So I'm pretty certain a lot of people who watch my channel are more of like the corporate age than the school age, so this is something you could request in your own workplace. And I'll leave a link down below so you can read more about the Black Curriculum as well as the services they offer. But yeah, let's talk about the bar form itself. This was kind of created in response to the Black Lives Matter protests of last year. Lush went away and kind of thought about what they do for anti-racism work and they did a bit of a blog post back last year about their kind of like action plans and they formed three different working groups led by black colleagues and one of the working groups was dedicated to releasing an awareness and fundraising campaign if you want to learn a bit more about their response to the black lives matter movement i'll leave a link down below because i think that is actually quite a good read as well especially on tangent to this video clearly this is the product of that working group and I think it's an incredible campaign for them to be getting behind. I love that it's a book obviously, it makes sense talking about the curriculum. It smells beautiful, it's got the same scent as Charity Pot so if you're not familiar with that it's kind of a sweet vanilla with notes of geranium, rosewood, ylang ylang, I don't know if I pronounce that right, I never know if I pronounce that right but it's just gorgeous. If you're a fan of the Charity Pot scent then you will love this. I obviously have not used it yet, I'm going to probably break it in two. It looks like it's quite an easy shape to snap into. So I'll be using this bar form in two separate baths. I will be using half of it today, so I'll add in some footage so you guys can see what it looks like in the water. From what I've seen online, it has some really beautiful pink, golden swirls in it. So I am really looking forward to using this. And again, like I said, the scent is beautiful. I really love vanilla smell, so I know I'm gonna really enjoy this. The bath bomb itself costs £5.95. Again, with all of the money minus VAT going towards the black curriculum. And if you do split in two, then it's like £3 per use-ish. I don't think that's too bad for a bath bomb. Yeah, I really encourage you to go out and treat yourself to this bath bomb because it's such a great cause. If you are interested in the black curriculum and think the work that they're doing is incredible i will also be leaving a link down below so that you can sign up to donate to them i used to work as a door-to-door -door fundraiser so i'm very aware that for charities it's actually so much better for them to have monthly donations it's just really helpful to them to understand how much they're going to have coming in monthly one-off donations are great they're always grateful for it but it's hard to really predict how your finances are going to look month on month with single one-off donations. Being able to donate regularly to a charity really helps give them that sort of stability and forecasting when it comes to their finances and planning out for the year. So I really recommend donating monthly, but whatever you can do is always appreciated. And I think it is definitely a worthy cause. Please do go help them out if you can. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed learning all about their brand new fundraising bath bomb. My name's Nicole, I'm Vegan Beauty Girl. Please do hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It'd be great to see you around here again. Hope you have a lovely day. Ta-ra.